Hi, this is Coach Schoberg. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to solve the 2018 National Math Count Sprint, Problem 28. I picked this problem because as you can see here, this was not one that, our, that anybody did very well on. In fact, to me, it pretty much looks like nobody got it right, unless that's such a small number that it's negligible. So here's the problem. How many six digit positive integers containing six distinct non-zero digits are divisible by 99? So first, what we need to do is determine characteristics of a number that's divisible by 99. Second, we can be organized and come up and start listing our cases. And last, we'll count all the combinations and then sum them. All right, it's important to note that to be divisible by 99, a number has to be divisible by both 9 and 11. And our divisibility rule for 9 is that the sum of digits is a multiple of 9. To be divisible by 11, you need to take every other digit, like the first, the third, etc., and add those up. Then take the other digits that you didn't use the first time, the second, the fourth, etc., add those up. Take the difference of those two sums. If you get a difference that's a divisible by 11, then that number is divisible by 11. Okay, so let's look at this and start with the 9 divisibility. You want to start, I'm going to call the six digit number A, B, C, D, E, F, where each of those letters represents a distinct digit. So we know to be divisible by 9, the sum A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F has to be a multiple of 9. I checked out the smallest possible sum, that was 21. The largest possible sum of six distinct digits was 39. So we had to have a multiple of 9 in between 21 and 39. Our only choice is, is the six digits must sum to 27 or they must sum to 36. Now let's continue this with looking at the 11 divisibility. So same thing. I'm going to call it the number A, B, C, D, E, F. In this case, the absolute difference of the quantity A plus C plus E minus the quantity B plus D plus F has to be a multiple of 11. I tried like the maximum and minimum cases. If we had 9, 8, and 7 as the three largest and 1, 2, and 3 as the three smallest digits, that difference is 18. So we know that we can't use the multiple of 11 like 22 or 33. That's impossible. So the difference between these two quantities has to be less than 18. So we're restricted to having it being 11 or 0. So let's put this all together and see if we can use it to solve this problem. Let's think of the quantity A plus C plus E and the quantity B plus D plus F as two different numbers. We're going to be looking for whole numbers that have a difference of 0 or 11 and also have a sum of 27 or 36. 18 and 18, they have a difference of 0 and a sum of 36. 19 and 8 have a difference of 11 and a sum of 27. And there are no other cases, so we're only working with these two situations. If you've known me for a while, you know that one thing that I love and my students hate is organized lists. You've got to get good at this, people. It helps you with so many problems. So I went ahead and found out all the ways that the numbers could add up to 18, three distinct digits, and I listed them in an organized fashion. I put them for ACE and then BDF as well. And then what we want to look for is which ways still have as a combination distinct digits. So for instance, 981, this can't pair with any of these things that start with a 9 or an 8. So the only choice it has is to go to the 765. For the 972, again, we can ignore everything that starts with a 9, and we cannot use anything with a 7 in it. 864 does work, but 765 doesn't. If we can continue to do this, we can find out all the combinations. Notice there are six different ways that work by this diagram. So if I'm trying to count how many combinations we have, for the A, C, and E, we can order those in any way, so three factorial orders. 
We also have three factorial orders for the BDF. And then there's six different combinations you can see that work for ACE and then BDF. And because they're the same values in both columns, when I went left to right, I don't need to switch it around. So we have 216 different combinations that just have both ACE and BDF adding up to 18. We can do a very similar thing with ACE equaling 19 and BD and F adding up to 8. So I have an organized list for each type, and then I try to figure out which cases pair so that we don't repeat any digits. Here you'll see that we still have the three factorial orders for ACE, the three factorial orders for BDF. We have five different combinations that work this time, but this time it does matter when we order the group. Um, if you switch ACE and BDF, you are getting distinct numbers from what you had the original time, so we need to multiply that by 2 to order the group. And we get 360 combinations with this. And noticing the first case, we got 216. 360 combinations for the second case, which gives us our total of 576 total combinations, which is the answer to this sprint problem number 28. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful.